Hello, this is the second part. Um, this is the automatic assembly. Um, unfortunately, my SolidWorks had some issues, so I resorted to sketching it and be advised that I am not in art school. I am in uh, school for mechatronics, so I apologize for the lack of better sketches. However, I do hope that these get my point across. So what we have right here is we have my bracket that I'm going to be placing all the assembly parts on. Um, this will be rolling down a conveyor. These will be placed um, on a conveyor and it would be a solid, uh, solid piece with a hole in the middle and then you can see these divots right here. These divots are meant for the axle brackets to be placed into here. Um, and these holes right here are going to be filleted um, for ease of aligning up the fasteners. And here's a side view right here. As you can see, it's just a divot. And then, not pictured, but um, on the bottom, there's going to be larger holes um, still filleted uh, for a basically an alignment dowel slash a, um, pin holder to come in and be able to push the fasteners into place. So here we have the first step of the process. We have this machine here. Um, these, as I tried to uh, draw here, this is a cutout view. Um, these are the axle brackets. They are lined up on these two pins right here and they are stacked within the machine. And as you can see, they will align with the poles and then drop the bracket into place. So it will always be in place and the holes will be lined up. Moves on down the line. Of course, this is on a conveyor belt. So here we see, um, I have a top view of this now. Um, I have the, the axles coming in now. So the axles will be coming in uh, there are small pistons that will push the axle onto the assembly frame and onto the axle brackets here. Um, this piston will retract fully and allow another axle to be dropped into place and then it will push back out to push the, uh, push the axle onto the assembly frame. So here we have a few things going on here. Uh, we have the car body being dropped on uh, by a small um, gripper, um, more than likely pneumatic, and it will, this gripper is important in two steps, and we'll see on the next slide. Um, and then from underneath the bracket, um, there would be a structure where these two or more likely four, because it'd be for both sides, this is two-dimensional, of course. Um, these forks will be holding these fasteners, and that would be something that I would request the vendor to change. Um, instead of wood screws, which are uh, fairly difficult and time-consuming, uh, there are these plastic fasteners, uh, similar to normal automotive applications that could just be pressed in, and they would lock into place. Uh, that would be a good... Um, good substitution and um, better for automation because all they would have to be is pushed into place and aligned instead of being <clears throat> screwed in, excuse me. So here's another cutout view. I just have a small gripper um, with these on here and it would push it in. Um, these are the holes I was talking about in the assembly frame here. Um, they would go in and they would push these in um, with the axle bracket and push it into the car body where there would be holes for those to be um, pressed into. And that's another thing that I would request the vendors is to pre-drill um, the holes on the car bodies, therefore these can be used and all it has to do is press in. Now this is uh, serving two functions. One, it aligns the car body, it drops it down and it holds it in place for this operation. And two, it counteracts the pushing force of these pins so that it can stay in place and allow the axles to be um, allow the axles to be installed. 
Finally here, we've got the wheels. Um, as you can see, this is still here. Um, this is still providing a stabilizing force um, so that things don't rock around as the wheels get pressed on. That's another thing. Um, the wheels and the axles are uh, filleted um, and I would request that these would be press on um, to get rid of any finicky um, fasteners or anything. Just press on the wheels. Um, if anything, possibly later down the line put in another a retaining clip or something, but a press on fit would be easier. Um, and to do that, I have a tool here that is the same uh, diameter as the wheel, and inside it's hollow as it's uh, held in by vacuum. So it takes a wheel, it sucks it in, it grabs it, and then it aligns it to the axle, and it will press it on with a uh, force, and then the vacuum would turn off and it would release, and the wheel is now on the axle. And of course that is being held on. And then by then, um, this is the frontal view by the way, um, the, the car is assembled. This retracts and goes back down the line to hold the next car body. These retract as well. This rolls down the line and it can be either picked by a robot or uh, probably picked by a robot or some other picking operation. Where, and then these will get um, tossed back in uh, to a bin and they will be placed back onto the line for another car reassembly. Thanks for watching.